What does mindfulness mean to you? I'm about to give my personal breakdown of what mindfulness means to me and how you can find it for yourself through the mindful raising exercise. Hi, I'm Spoon the Voice Guy. For the best mindful moments, soothing stories and holistic health interviews, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post every Thursday. Mindfulness is a topic I speak about a great deal during panels with my clients and have a whole private Facebook group dedicated to this topic. Hello everyone in the Ready for Dreams group. So I'm looking forward to sharing this exercise. There are just three things you will need before we start. You will need a dish, two raisins, and some water. So now you have what you need. Please prepare the space around you. If you need to open or close a window, do so. If you need to add or remove clothing, do so. Give yourself permission to take control of the space and recognize that you have the power to do so when you need to. Once you've done that and you're settled in, be comfortable on a chair, at a table, or on the sofa, on the floor, on a beanbag, however you feel. So now you have your environment how you want it to be. Be comfortable and find a cycle of breathing that works for you. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Try not to raise the shoulders, but be comfortable. And start to notice and start connecting with the moment even more. So now you're comfortable and in a flow of breathing that works for you. Take one of the raisins and uh, hold it. Look at it. Look at the ridges. Look at how deep they are. Look at the symmetry or lack of it. Look at the dimensions and allow that to just register for a moment. I want you to then take the time to smell it. And my raisin actually doesn't smell much. I can mostly smell what I wash my hands with before I started doing this. But no, actually, squeeze it just a bit. Allow the oils of the skin, allow it to rise up into the air. Tickle your nostrils a bit. Look at it. Feel it. Squeeze it. Listen to it. Squeeze it between your fingers and feel it molding and moving. When you've done that, I know it seems a bit out of the box to be listening to and smelling and so on. But allow yourself to do it because often we don't spend enough time present in a moment. And it's great to find something so small and simple to be present with and see how we can apply that to our everyday lives. And now you're doing that, just put it in your mouth, but don't bite it. Just put it in your mouth and move it around. And then just hold it between your teeth. Now you're holding it. And just bite it now. Just once. And acknowledge what you notice from that bite. You know, did you feel a burst of fruitiness from what was once a grape, now is a raisin? How does it feel? Take another bite. How is that flavor evolving and developing? Where do you feel it on your tongue? How does it feel against the roof of your mouth? As you keep chewing and moving, you notice the fusion of juices, your own saliva and everything mixing, and the pleasantness of the experience, or whatever you feel. And as you're chewing, and now it's gone, what do you notice is left behind? How does it make you feel? And just allow that to swirl. What do you notice? How does it feel? Where does it take you? 
I'm just gonna grab a swig of water. Please feel free to join me and comment below and let me know if you feel you can be even more mindful and present in your day to day. Just drop a yes below. So now I'd like to just take a moment to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And just take a moment to notice what we've just done when we've raised the number one. And then let's go over to raise the number two. Hold it. Start to feel it and notice and become aware and present with it. Feel the ridges. Start to compare how this raising feels compared to raising number one. Notice the difference between the two raisins. How do they feel? What does it look like? Maybe this one has less folds, less ridges, is flatter, is rounder, is juicier as you mold it between your fingers. Now start to go deeper. Deep isn't good enough. Let's go deeper. Where did it grow? Where did it come from? How did it get to me before I picked it up off of a supermarket shelf in a bag? How did it arrive to me? Where did it grow? How did the sun influence how it used to be as a grape before it arrived? What part did the soil have to play? What part did the organisms, the animals, the terrain around it for centuries before? What part did that play in the soil being so rich of nutrients? So from wherever this came, I'm now a part of that soil, that soil is a part of me, that history is a part of me, I'm a part of it. We are all one, we're connected. Allow that to swirl around for a moment. Think about the person that picked it, that packed it, the people that delivered it, the lives they're connected to. You know, at times when we're hungry and we want to eat and we want, we think about the end result. I have this, I take it, and then that's the end. But what about everything that came before it for this moment to exist? How do we connect to all of that? How does it matter for me? Should it matter? Does it matter? And then eat it. All of this, however you perceive it, is how you perceive it. Please focus on your own experience. So when you notice that you could be more present, how can you ensure that you're doing it more often? We discuss this all the time in our private Facebook group and share tips from daily routines to insights from live interviews. Join us via the link below or book a one-to-one. -one. Remember to check out our playlists featuring mindful sounds, soothing stories and live interviews here on the Ready for Dreams channel to help with creating a mindful moment during your day. If this resonated with you, please hit the like button, comment and share with your folks. See you soon.